we are in the Israel Museum in the archaeological department I'm talking with a lo uh, with a low voice since I'm not allowed to guide any high voice over here in the Israel Museum and in order to uh, not disturb the people who are in the museum those are artifacts were found in Israel from the time of the first human prehistory this is a mammoth skull that was found in the area of Tiberias dating back to 780,000 years before Christ imagine that 700,000 years before Jesus I advise all people visiting Israel to come to the Israel Museum and visit it, especially if you're visiting in August in the hot month in Jerusalem. It's really breezy over here. It's nice to walk around and see all the remnants and artifacts that were found over here in Israel. Those are gold rings. 6,000 years old. Those are ossuaries used in the Chalcolithic and Second Temple period here in Israel, also during the time of Jesus, where after burying, burying the people in sarcophagus, in burial tombs, after a while, one year or so they would take out the bones and bury them rebury them one more time in those ossuaries and put them underground close to their houses this section over here is dealing with the land of Canaan the promised land this is one of the most important findings over here in Israel found in Tel Arad a national park and a heritage site in the area of the Negev in the desert of Israel bearing the um, face and the personality of Tammuz one of the pagan gods during the Canaanite period that the Bible mentioned for us also as Baal Those were sarcophagus from the time of the Philistines, thousands of years before Jesus Christ coming to the Holy Land. I wonder how people knew how to decorate during that time with no uh, tools like today or in the 21st century. Those were all made only by chiseling, mixing water with mud.